Hi, thank you very much for clicking on to another reading. So in this one, y'all, I'm going to be pulling these um, Gypsy Witch cards or something. What are they called? Yeah, Gypsy Witch fortune telling playing cards. So I'm going to get a card out and I'm going to ask about the energy surrounding y'all. And you can check out my previous read too. I think I had asked the same question. But um, before I even get into this read, y'all, this like a side note or like a another type of message. I don't know. But I feel like this the vibes, like this the energy. Uh, for some people, you could be like already noticing this. But I feel like um, what's going on with the economy or like, you know, the whole inflation, a lot of people are experiencing losses. It's like some people cannot keep up financially, right? But there's certain people out here because I actually saw this for my own two eyes, y'all. And it was like actually kind of disturbing. But um, somebody was actually laughing. Like they found some type of joy with somebody losing something or like, you know, something being taken away from the person, like material possessions. And I just feel like that's a very sick thing to do, like to, to feel some type of joy about someone's downfall. That's like super weird. But it's like, you got to remember too, it's like you can actually be in that, in that person's position too. It's like, because it happened to them, like it can actually happen to you. So that's why I try not to laugh. I don't find no type of joy in somebody, um, in somebody's like downfall. That's why I try to be careful about, um, you know, with these readings and stuff. Cause I don't like to hear nothing about um, somebody's like misfortune or something like bad happening to them. Um, especially when it comes towards like some type of loss or whatever, especially when it's somebody who does not deserve it, basically. It's like they just could be going through a tough time or whatever, but I don't find any type of joy about that at all. So, um, there's a spam call. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the read though. Let me see what comes out. This is the, um, what I say? Gypsy witch fortune telling cards. What's the energy surrounding the collective at this time? What's the energy surrounding the collective at this time? And I actually experienced something like recently too, where this, um, this girl was like basically talking down on me. And I just didn't feel like that was, you know, I mean, of course it's not fair, but I was like, people are a trip. Like sometimes they be needing to humble themselves, like seriously, because it's like, she don't even know me from a can of paint, but it's like, because of the whole situation, it's like, basically she was trying to make it seem like she doing better than me, which is a lot. Cause she don't even know that I work for myself. You know, I make my own money or whatever. And if she, and I could have said this too, that's why I'm not, um, I try not to like say certain things like this because that's just not my character or whatever but it's like i could have sat there and said like oh well that's why you working here at this job or whatever and i work for myself i could have said that right but i ain't saying nothing i found myself having to hold my tongue lately it's like i've been having to hold my tongue with certain things because i'm a, i'm just like you know what i'm gonna just let them feel like they done got one on me like they ate or whatever but they really didn't but it just it's like very surprising to see how certain people deal with certain people um and I was like you know what that's okay and of course well <laughs> unfortunately it was a black girl too and I ended up telling my daughter too because I was like wow I was like you know what that's why I hate dealing with black people and y'all this may sound it may sound like I'm a racist or whatever but no it's true sometimes I hate dealing with um black people when it comes towards like certain establishments um, because of their whole, it's like the way they be doing stuff, y'all. And they really think they be doing something, but they're not. It'd be like super unprofessional and they'd be like talking down on their own people, but then let somebody else from a different race come about. It's like, they being all nice and doing, you know, it's like they, their whole attitude be switching. I don't be getting that. It's like, what is it? I be seeing that a lot. And sometimes I be sitting back and just watching um, certain things too, like how certain black people deal with other black people. It be like really messed up. And I just don't understand that. It's almost like they be treating you, they'll treat another black person like they about to steal something or like you not, you can't pay for your stuff or something. And I'm just like, wow, like don't, don't try to do me like that. Okay. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> I had to say that not really sure if anybody else be experiencing that, but it's true. It's almost like the, um, 
and no disrespect though but it's like how the asians be doing um black people too it's like you i don't be feeling comfortable going to certain establishments because they be sitting there watching you the whole time but it's like they want your money but it's like they think that you're gonna steal something from them it'd be like super weird but it's like i'm not the type of person that will steal something from out of a store so it's like don't be looking at me like i'm about to steal something like i got my money and i was gonna pay for something but now i don't even want to buy nothing from out of here <laughs> okay what's the energy surrounding the collective what's the energy surrounding the collective Okay, so this I card wanted to pop out. Ooh, I almost lost the cards. Okay, so this I card is showing up here. This is the four of clubs or spades, y'all. Y'all know I don't know how to play no cards now, and I should know this by now, right? But it's something like that. It's with the um, <laughs> it's this card right here, but it's um, it's number forty nine, and it says the I when near denotes great interest taken by friends. When distant, it signifies sus um, suspicion. I feel like this could be both energies. For some people, um, you could be somebody who's in a public eye, especially if you got some type of social media platform, y'all, because that was showing up in a previous read too. But it looked like eyes could be on you. You could be watching somebody. Somebody could be watching you. But it looks like um, something that it is that you're doing or there's some type of great um, interest taken in you by other people. That's what it looks like. But also, too, it's like it could be like a suspicious type of energy, too. It's given like kind of very mysterious. And for some reason, when I'm looking at this card, this eye, um, I just picture somebody like looking through like a peephole. Something about that could be significant, too. But yeah, it's almost like an eye, like somebody looking through the peephole, like trying to see, like, you know, you trying to look outside or something. You peeking out. That's what it looked like. <laughs> but, um, a lot of spying game stalking could be going on too but i'm gonna see what this is give me some insight on this um the eye for the collective why is the eye showing up for the collective why is the eye showing up for the collective yeah six of wands coming out here so yeah for some people there's some type of interest taken in you so um I'm gonna see what else comes out here. Let me see. Oh, evil eye energy is significant as well, y'all. Cause you know, like once you put yourself out there or whatever on your social media platforms, okay. Cause you know, some people are not as nice. They don't really have good intentions towards you. That's what it looks like. And you just never know who be watching your stuff too. They sitting there um, sending you the evil eye. You don't even know. You in your bed laying down, you eating food. They on your social media, looking at your pictures, your videos, being negative. Um, one time I actually had um, had a dream about that, y'all. That is so real because um, one time I had this dream where a person, and it's, I could already tell who the person was. I didn't see their face, but it looked like I was, like I was, um, this may sound kind of weird, but it seemed like I was in their body, okay? Like <laughs> I was in the person's body. Somebody was, um, and it was a feminine energy too. They was looking at my Instagram, right? Like a picture. And they were saying some like really cruel things, like some really mean things, like as they were looking at my picture. And it looked like it was in their room or something. Super weird, okay. But yeah, that's how people be moving out here. Okay, let me see. <laughs> give me some insight on <laughs> the eye. Give me some insight on the eye. Oh, it's turning into a slight obsession, okay? Because look, the devil card showing up here. Also, too, like negative influences could be significant, too. But yeah, it looks like here with the Six of Cups coming out, um, of course, it is linked to past energy. So yeah, for some people, you could have some people in your past that could be still like looking at your social media, y'all. That's what it looks like. And you know what? Instagram's so messy. Sometimes you can tell like who could have been like looking at your page or trying to look at your page based off like the suggestions, y'all. I was like, you know what? Instagram a trip, okay? They kind of messy. But it be showing because it's like, well, I'm not following this person and they not following me. So why is their um, page popping up in my suggestions, okay? So that could be confirmation for some people. But that's what I'm seeing here. Let me see. 
it's like they could be sending negative energy with the devil card coming out give me some insight here on the eye for the collective why is the eye showing up yeah five of wands coming out and then we got this page of pentacles showing up here too y'all definitely be careful about um now of course use your discernment but it feels like possibly someone trying to be like someone's friend but it's like no it's like a hidden enemy type of situation and this is like very sick because it's like i can't even see myself i don't know what like what type of mindset that is but basically it's like somebody who doesn't like a person they could be like in secret competition with you but for whatever reason it's like they want to be your friend now also too what i'm seeing they could be adding you on to you know how like people request a friendship like it could be facebook or instagram or something like that some way somehow because it's like they in the crowd or like within the um whatever it is that you got going on because what the six of wands is like basically somebody who could be in a public eye so it's like if you do got some type of social media platform basically you in a public eye you may not have a lot of followers or whatever the case is but from what's showing up here it just feels like possibly somebody trying to request a friendship but low-key it's like they could be trying to be nosy especially if you got your page private or something like that so that's super weird i don't know why this is showing up here but it's, i'm asking about the energy so yeah let me get some insight on this give me some more insight on the eye so you could be kind of suspicious too because when this car i only put one car and i may clarify it in a few minutes but it's like there's some type of suspicion it's kind of like why this person following me or why they looking at me or something why they checking up on me <laughs> give me some insight on the eye for the collective please tell me more about this card the eye why is it showing up for them Why is the eye showing up for the collective? I feel like it's more so some type of suspicion. Yeah, because the hermit, there's like an investigation. Like somebody could be showing up as a hermit, like as investigating a situation, like investigating you, trying to figure out more information. That's what it looks like. So you could be about to find out this information too, or this could have just been confirmation for your speculations about a situation or a person in your energy. What is this about the eye for the collective? Give me some insight. Knight of Swords coming out here. Something in regards to like a DM, like a direct message or communication is significant. Ooh, he's scared me. with the knight of swords coming out let me see what else shows up here give me some insight on the eye for the collective uh -oh. okay look ace of wands showing up here and a death card coming out here too so i'm seeing it um with the ace of wands coming out here I feel like this is a new opportunity. Like somebody could be looking at you curious um, in regards to like a new opportunity, a new beginning with the Ace of Wands coming out. But either way, it's like you could be kind of suspicious in regards to like who this person, like, you know, it's like, why, why are they wanting to be friends with me? I was wondering, let me um, stay focused on the read. But now this guy... Because I was wondering, I'm like, why he got fishing poles? Because I didn't know you could fish over here. Because I don't think it's any fish and it's water over here. But he just, like, randomly threw a fishing rod, like, in the street. Give me some insight on this. Give me some insight on the eye for the collective, please. So, four of cups coming out here. 
So it looks like it could be tied into a um an unexpected offer with this four of cups coming out. Let me see, because that was showing up in the previous read too, y'all. So you could be in this energy to where it's like maybe you are um basically focusing on yourself. But it looks like you could be now you could be like rejecting certain offers too. I feel like somebody page private though, <laughs> like low key. I don't know why I keep getting that. Or that could be like a sign for somebody to make a um make their um page private, but not if you got a business account or whatever. But that's what it looked like too. I don't know. Let me get some insight. Um, give me some clarity on the eye. Why is the eye showing up for the collective? Why is the eye showing up? So flames is coming out here. And this is the seven of diamonds, but um, this is card number 38. And it says flames on the hearth indicate good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near lying unlucky cards and, increase, and increases the value of lucky ones. So for some people, y'all, um, see when I was talking about that whole evil eye energy, yeah. Whatever this is, it looks like something new is coming in, right? Um, fire sign energy could be significant because um, a lot of fire is coming out. You could have fire in your chart too. But what I'm seeing here, because this is like a creepy type of energy, a very low vibrational type of energy surrounding this eye card. Because it looks like, it's almost like devil type of energy. You see it? And the color of it is actually um, red. So whoever is in this energy right here, they could be low vibrational or like basically sending negative energy because it's like they could see that you're lucky or something of that sort. It's like they could be looking at your social media platforms or watching you, um, something of that sort. But yeah, I feel like um, some type of new opportunity or even like information could be coming in, but it's going to help to neutralize this evil eyes type of energy so it's like you could be receiving a new opportunity that was showing up in a read right before this one too y'all so i'm actually get another one but i'm not gonna stick too long on this um energy or whatever let me see give me some insight on the eye for the collective give me some more insight on the eye for the collective please what's this the tree um this is card number five too so it says the tree good health near flowers fulfillment and highest hope so this is actually some more confirmation on the the reading that i posted right before this one y'all there's a need to keep your hopes high like seriously um but it looks like here with the tree coming out oh something in regards to like um adding on to the family tree could be significant too but I feel like um, something in regards to like change. So it looks like there's going to be some changes that you're going to be. Oh, and look, the star card is actually showing up here at the bottom. And this is card number 34. But it says the star ensures success in all enterprises when near, when very distant, some unlucky events. So for some people, it's like maybe... You know what though, and that's crazy because I had um sent that message before I even got into these cards, y'all. See, it's like people that could be in your energy. It's almost like they're praying on your downfall. It's like they see that you're lucky, but it's like they don't want you to be lucky. They could be feeling unlucky themselves. So it's like they could see you as somebody who's like very lucky when it comes towards your um endeavors, like your creative endeavors or a business um endeavors, like on your social media platforms or something of that sort. See, it's like people that that's like waiting to like laugh at your downfall. I'm so serious. Like I've been seeing this, like experiencing it with my own two eyes. And the fox is actually showing up here too. So it says the fox in close proximity, um, something. I don't know what this word is, y'all. Excuse me, but disrupt of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you distant less danger so there's definitely um with the fox it's kind of giving like a, a wolf type of energy you could be dealing with um people that's that's showing up as like wolves in sheep's clothing like seriously so i'm actually going to get out of this um this energy y'all yeah but um 
yeah that's what came out here this was like kind of an energy read using these fortune telling cards but thank you very very much for watching